Well, good morning. Here we are at Gem Tree uh, along the Plenty Highway. We didn't film last night when we got in. We got here probably about, I don't know, five o'clock. And we were just buggered, so got to our campsite, set up and just relaxed, had dinner, went to bed. So, but today is a new day and we're gonna head to um, a gem fossil king day tour. So it's something that Gem Tree put on. They take you out, they give you all the gear to do some fossil king and then they'll leave you be. And whatever you find, they can come, you can come back to their store and grade it. Um, if you want it cut and polished, they can do that. They can send it off to do it. Um, and then tonight they do like a, sometimes they do a camp oven night, um, but they don't have enough numbers, so they're doing a pub meal night. So we'll do that tonight with you. They got the campfire going, a few drinks, nice meal. We'll go and do that. But this campground, it's awesome. There is so much room. It's nice and flat. The showers were brilliant, nice and hot. Um, yeah it's it's a fair hike out here but it's nice so we'll stay here yeah last night and tonight and then we'll head off tomorrow so bring on the day Good morning. It is our last day here at Gem Tree where we are leaving today. So just packing up slowly. Well, I'm, I'm ready to go. Now it's just a caravan. Um, but yeah, no, so we spent two nights here. Um, and as you saw yesterday, we did some gem fossicking. So we we're trying to find a zircoin. Zircoin? Yeah. Um, which is just like a little gem. And then whatever you find, you can take it over to their shop and they grade it and they let you know what you know what can be cut and pol polished and all that sort of stuff and we got a, probably about 10 bits that can be cut and polished so that's pretty good and then a few other little cool looking gems and whatnot so yeah that was really really good we spent you could spend all day out there if you wanted to so they take you out um on, on a tag along tour they take you out there they show you what to do they make sure you you're right with all the equipment and then they leave you and you can be out there for as long as you want really um we set out for a couple of hours and then came back and just relaxed around camp for the day so it's been nice to have a day out at a camp and not having to pack up and head off straight away so yeah but today we're heading for Tobermory station which is right near the border of the northern territory in queensland so we'll see how that goes we hit the dirt today so that should be interesting but bring it on
we've just stopped along the Plenty Highway for some lunch. Um, we're about maybe 180 k's from the Queensland border. So it's been a pretty cruisy run actually. It, the road isn't too rough. Um, the, at the start there was a few sections where there was a lot of water on the road but you know now that we're further along there's been hardly any water so we were a bit um, shocked when we arrived at what was it Heart Range and there was a there was a sign a road closure sign that said the road was closed from the border to Boulia so we called the Boulia Shire just to double check what the go was and they're like no no it's, it's open um, you just have to take your time Four wheel drive only. Four wheel drive only and yeah, there's a few washouts so we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But yeah, today we're going to aim to get to Tobermory Station, have the night there and then we'll get into Queensland tomorrow. So let's bring on some more dirt roads. If you can hear me over all the birds, um, but we stayed at Tobermory Station, I think you call it. Um, I got a cabin last night. Mum and Dad were in the caravan, of course. Um, this is a brilliant place, absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Um, I think it was maybe 30 bucks for an unpowered site and 120 bucks for a pretty good cabin, shower, bed, morning eggs. Um, so it is a working station out here. You yeah, see the workers doing their thing when we got here and they um, had cattle in the yards, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we stayed here for the night, relaxed, absolutely buggered after the dirt roads yesterday. And then today we've got 250 k's to Bullia and it's high clearance it's full drive only, so we'll see how exciting this is. But I'll show you around Tobermory Station. You can find it on Wikicamp, so I'll pop that here on the screen. Um, and that has all the information there. But yeah, they've got brilliant amenities. Showers, toilets, uh, camp kitchen, playground, laundry. Looks like they've also got a couple of brand new cabins, so that's pretty cool. It looks really nice. Great. The grass is so green. They water it. They really take care of it. So it's absolutely beautiful. Alright, well, we'll get into the day.